Hi guys, so I actually did start this video already, but my phone started to play up and I think it's because I had it to, uh, to like higher setting like resolution wise. So I've just changed it now. So hopefully it films the whole video this time because I got halfway through and it just, it, the, the app just crashed. And I was like, once I'm balling and I have a job and I can actually afford it, I'm probably gonna get like an actual camera so I can actually record videos and not have to worry about my phone cutting out every five seconds. But yeah, so I am actually going to start the video again. So today's video, I am going to be doing a What's in My Audition bag. So obviously it's quite self-explanatory. I'm just going to be showing you what's in my audition bag, what I would normally take to an audition. And yeah, the reason I'm doing this, because it is a bit random, but it's because I literally am doing nothing at the moment with my life, like virtually nothing at all. I'm just going to get straight into the video. So this is my audition bag right here. Um, I'll just go through it by each compartment. I mean, there's only two compartments, but you know what I mean. So we'll start with the small pocket first. And the first thing in here is actually just some wee first aid bits and bobs. Um, so I've got some deep heat rub, um, some deep freeze, and also just some blister plasters. Girls, more so for you, because boys, we just wear the same trainers pretty much all the time, or jazz shoes. Um, but yeah, because... I know that Ludicas, if you're breaking them in, can be quite bad for blisters um, or any character heel, to be honest. So, yeah. So, yeah. Blister plasters are your best friend. So, the next thing I've got is just a wee sewing kit. Um, it's just got needles, thread, um, some wee pins, a lighter for all you point shoe or ballet shoe people. Um, I don't actually know what else you would use that for a lighter. That was just in there from when I used to sew my ballet shoes and that was it. Next thing I've got is just a wee roll-on deodorant. This is just the Dove Clean and Comfort one. Um, the reason I use roll-on is because ever since I started using roll-on, my sweat doesn't smell. Like, I still sweat a ton because I've always done, but like, it doesn't smell as bad. Whereas when I used like, actual like, an, from an aerosol can, it just was like, not as nice and also it's better for the environment apparently so I mean it is because you're not spraying stuff into the atmosphere so yeah that's why I use roll on. And then lastly in this wee compartment is just a spare pair of black socks because obviously if you're dancing in your socks which you most likely won't but there was one or two auditions where I got to dance in socks and yeah I hate having holes in my socks like I hate 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 having holes in my socks see if I had no I've got a hole in my sock it's all I think about and I'm just like like it just drives me to the point of insanity so yeah spare pair of black socks so that's the wee compartment done so I'll move on to the big compartment with all the rest of my stuff so the next thing I've got in here is actually a water bottle because obviously you need to stay hydrated because you're obviously working really hard in addition so yeah this is my water bottle here it's very oh it's very pride themed um because basically when I went to Ibiza for those of that don't know, I did a job in Ibiza. I danced for an artist called Mercy. And she is just the nicest person ever. Love her so much. Miss her very much. And hope I can get to catch up with her soon. Um, but yeah, she gifted us these water bottles when we were going. Because the event was Pride. It was a Pride event in Ibiza. And she got us these water bottles. And a cute little holder thing as well to like attach onto your bag. So yeah, a water bottle. Next up, I've just got a wee notebook. Because obviously if you just want to jot anything down or... Yeah, just, that's just, yeah, if you want to jot anything down. Next thing I've got is kind of the same thing, but also not the same thing. I've got a wee diary. I got this one from Stradivarius. It just says, on Sundays in 2022, we do nothing. Um, I say I've got this and a notebook just because I like to keep my notes and my dates separate. So, like, if someone gives me a date for something, I'd rather put it in here. Whereas of, like, do you know what I mean? Like... It's just, I just prefer to have both, okay? I, I'm just, I'm just extra like that. The next thing I've got in my bag is my singing folder. Um, so obviously from my previous video, I told you that I cannot sing, which I cannot, um, as proven by my recent audition for Cats on Royal Caribbean. I went into the room and I sung the wrong words to my song. It was extremely embarrassing because the pianist actually stopped playing and went, you're, you know you're singing the wrong words and I was like mm-hmm 
and then once I finished my song after he let me start again and I finished my song after singing the wrong words again and the panel just looked at me and went thank you so much and just I walked out and I was like good <laughs> love that so yeah that was a bit traumatizing but yeah so just my singing folder um I've got a selection of songs in here I've got your song Belle and John last one picked from a musical that I've never heard of personally it's called whoop de doo and then I've got you'll be found I don't really know why I chose a song that has like a whole ensemble but we did it at da my dance school for a show once and it sounded really cool so I was like screw it I'm gonna use it also at the back of my singing folder I do actually have my CV and my headshot I look nothing like that anymore. I need to get a haircut. Like. <laughs> and then obviously just my CV that's got the Dark Horse on it because the Dark Horse are my agents. Okay, so the next thing I've got in here are my jazz shoes. <laughs> I dislike jazz shoes so much. Like, especially these ones. They're so ugly. It's the next best thing to socks, but I absolutely hate them. So it's not really the next best thing. It's like the next worst thing. So yeah, jazz shoes. Another pair of shoes that I take are my character shoes. So mine are from Freed of London and they are just, just look like this. They're kind of just like shoes you would wear to like, I don't know if, if oh my God, they're so scuffed. Um, just like a shoe you would wear like like a smart shoe basically. And um, these actually have elastics in them so I can slip them on and off just cause I had to wear them for a show and it was just easier for quick changes just to have them like that. Um, and also on the bottom, it's like a kind of felt material. Mine are absolutely wrecked because I've had them for a while, but yeah, just, and I keep them in my wee bag as well. So the next thing is actually another pair of shoes. And to be honest, I don't really take these unless it's specified, but I mean, like it's always nice to just have them there just in case they do ask but it's just a pair of tap shoes so my tap shoes are absolutely wrecked like look at that look at the bottom of them it's actually got stickers from when I was at my old dance school um like they like look at that you can see right through that like I'm sorry that's not good but yeah um I've had these for I've literally these are these are the only pair of tap shoes I've ever owned and I got my first pair of tap shoes when I was 16. I'm now 22 years old. I've had my tap shoes for six years. Like, it, yeah, self-explanatory. But yeah, sometimes you'll get asked to do tap in addition, which anyone that knows me, I do not like tap in the slightest. I'm not good at it and I can't make it look nice. So yeah, tap shoes, but resent it. So I also thought I would add in what I wear to auditions because I wear the same thing to every single audition because I have a weird like superstitious thing where basically I think if I wear the same thing every single time they'll remember me and they'll be like oh that's the boy that's wearing that blah blah blah. So yeah I just wear plain black leggings. These are actually the like I have it's literally the same pair of leggings. It's not like different pairs of black leggings like it's the same one like they're so like, I've had to sew up this hole on the knee so many times, and I'm pretty sure there was a hole in the crotch as well. Yeah, there was. It was somewhere. Yeah, it was there. There was a hole in the crotch. Yeah, there was basically just holes all over this. Uh, yeah, so these leggings, just in case. Not just in case. These are the leggings that I wear. And then I also just wear this crop top. So it's just a high neck, long sleeve from Yet's Franz, from Urban Outfitters. Oh, by the way, the leggings, these are from Shein. And then obviously this is from Urban Outfitters. She's real cute. She's a nice color of blue. And yeah, I just think it looks nice on me. I feel a bit more comfortable in leggings and a crop top. And also I feel like it shows off my legs as well because I do have quite long legs. So I make them longer by wearing high-waisted leggings and a crop top. So yeah. I also do, just as a precaution, I take an extra pair of black leggings. These ones are from Primark. I don't really like these ones that much. I mean, they were only six pounds. So I like them in that sense, but they fall down really easily, so I have to keep pulling them up. And it's not a nice look when my like my legs are hanging out. But yeah, these are just a medium from the like workout thing. And they're only £6. I have them in two, three different colours, actually. So I've got black, green, and like a navy pair. They're really cute. 
love them. Okay, so they're all there also is one thing in this bag that I do normally take with me. Um, although I normally wear them on my feet. Um, but it's my trainers. But I actually left my dance trainers in Edinburgh, so I don't actually currently have them to hand, but it's just a pair of night trainers. Like I wear them to every audition rehearsals like whenever I'm dancing in trainers I wear them. So that's actually everything out of the bag now uh, but I thought since this video is actually qu gonna be quite short um, that I would just like talk you through like my like day like my general day going to an audition like before after whatever blah blah blah. So normally on the day of an audition I try get up early um, just because I want to be ready for like whatever it is I'm doing. So first of all, I'll obviously do my skincare and I'll like, or I'll have a shower. Uh, normally I do like to shower the morning of an audition just because like, I like to make sure that I'm like as neat as possible and I'll like shave my face and do my skincare. And depending on like what the nature of the audition is, I might do some makeup as well, just to make myself look a bit more presentable. I obviously, pack my bag, make sure I double check it, triple check it, make sure that everything's in the bag. And then once I've done that, I will obviously have something to eat because I know some people don't like to eat before an audition, but I personally need to eat before an audition because I need energy. I need to make sure that I've got all this energy ready for an audition. Once I've had something to eat, I will then obviously get dressed. I don't normally wear my audition top. I'll wear my leggings but I don't normally wear my audition top because it is so thin that it does get sweat patches. Like the material's very just like, it's like that sporty kind of material. So, and obviously it's like blue so you can actually see sweat patches on it from like me wearing it all the time and yeah, it just doesn't wash out in the wash. But we're all friends here. Um, so yeah, I normally just put that in my bag and put on like a baggy top or something just so I'm not like pure sweating. So once I'm all ready and I've had something to eat, I'm all dressed and I'm ready to go, I will head to the audition. So auditions that I've been to have been at like Dance Attic, um, Pineapple. Sometimes there's auditions at Bass. Um, I've never been to an audition at Bass, but I know that sometimes they hold auditions at Bass. There's also like a theatre cafe. Um, Near Leicester Square, there was once an audition upstairs there. Um, so yeah, just, they can be basically any dance space, basically. So I'll head to wherever, wherever I'm going and I will just obviously look out my CV headshot if it's needed. Some auditions don't need them. And I'll wait, obviously, outside or if you can wait inside, wait inside and register and warm myself up and get ready and get into the right mind space. I don't really have like a pre-audition like warm up or like headspace thing or anything. Like I just go in with a positive mindset and just fingers crossed that everything goes okay. So obviously then you would go into the audition and it's all auditions are different like I've not been to any auditions that are like basically the exact same like some you go in and they just start with the routine straight away some you go in and they give you like five ten minutes to warm up and then some you're just like it's just yeah they're all different basically and then obviously when I'm performing the routines that they taught us make sure that I'm going for it with performance if there's improv I'm giving them tricks I'm giving them legs I'm giving them life. Like, oh, that was really cringy. I, didn't, I wish I didn't say that. So obviously once the audition's over, sometimes you'll get recalled, sometimes you won't. Um, I have a lot of experience of not getting recalled. Um, basically, when I was in London, I just did like a week basically full of auditions. It was so full out. Like literally every single day I had an audition and I basically got cut from all of them bar like one. And... It is hard when you've been cut from an audition. Like, I won't lie, I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say that it's fine and stuff like that because, I mean, some people do take it well, but personally, I cried after every single one of them because I'm quite hard on myself. And yeah, so normally, if I get kept from an audition, then that's great. I'll go about my day and just be happy or whatever. But if I get cut from an audition, I do like to go and treat myself and make myself feel better. So I'll either go have a big fat McDonald's or I'll go and buy something. Um, after I got cut from Cats, I went and bought Refi Beauty, like the whole 
face collection because I was just so sad and I was like, I want to make myself feel better. So I was like, you know what, I'll go and buy makeup so I can make myself look better. And I, I actually did feel better about it. Another thing I do like to do is I took class after the auditions that I got cut from and 100% it worked because like after, especially after Cats, like I keep referring back to Cats, but Cats was the one that I was like, like really upset about because like, like I like cats is like one of my dream jobs, like really up there, and so I went and obviously bought high PE, and then later on that night I had class with Marley Goddard, absolutely insane. If you can get to one of her classes, get to them because she uh, she works you hard, and her floor work is just incredible. I love it. I can't believe I just said that. I'm doing such weird things. Sometimes you can go to a class and sometimes you can come out feeling deflated. But if you're going in for the right reasons and you're going in to help yourself and train and get better and like, I don't know, you're not going in there to prove a point basically. But I went in because I wanted to make myself feel better and I wanted to just like go in, work hard and come out feeling positive and it worked. And yeah, that's so that's one thing that I would say is to just don't give up, take class and also be nice to yourself as well. So go and get that McDonald's, go and get that makeup, go and treat yourself to something nice. Also, another thing I like to do after an audition is just to let my agent know how I got on with the audition, just like telling them how it went, how the routines were, just what it was like basically, how far I got, all that kind of stuff. Um, Cause I'm quite, I quite like the relationship I have with my agent. We're very, I don't want to say close, but, like, we are close. Like, I can message her or him because I have, obviously, the um, the head of the agency, which is Sine, and then the agency assistant, which is Soup. And Soup was actually the head of dance while I was at MGA, so that was really good because I know him very well. So I have no problem just messaging them, being like, I got on like this, or, like, I'm sad. I'm like, Mary got cut, I'm sad, blah, blah, blah. Dreams crushed. Like, I'm very comfortable with them. And it's nice to have that relationship with an agent because personally for me, I like having close relationships, especially because I'm trusting them to be like, to help me get a job. So yeah, I just like that. So that's basically an audition day for me. Um, Very standard, I feel like everyone's are pretty similar, but I don't know, I might do something different. I might, some people have like little pre-audition, like, What's the word I'm looking for? Pre-audition rituals, that's it, ritual. Some people have them and it just like gets them in the right mind space and stuff like that. I don't really have that. The only thing that I really have is that I like to wear the exact same thing every single time, but that's more for like, so the panel might recognize me because like, there's not many boys that wear blue crop tops and black leggings into an audition. So I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to make myself more distinctive basically. So yeah, that's actually the end of the video. Um, I'm hoping it's not too short. I don't know. Do you like short videos? Do you want longer videos? I mean, you definitely don't want longer videos. My other video was like half an hour long. So yeah, guys, if you like this video, please like it. Please subscribe to my channel. Please tell your friends, tell your moms, tell your dads. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Or if you're watching this at night, I hope you have a wonderful evening. Or if you're watching this at any other time of the day, just have a great day. And yeah. I shall, I'll see you in my next one. <laughs> Bye.